Hi, everybody. It's so great to see you today. We're going to be doing a very short video on a very interesting topic. Um, hazard symbols. Remember, we had a lecture some time ago. And we're going to be doing an MCQ revision. I remember Professor E.A. Zibasi. And this is the Bio-Risk Management System. Stop. If you have not pressed that red button, please click on it. Tell us what you like about our show. Like our videos and please share this research to other people you know might need it. Remember, we are a free resource and we only can remain here if you do give us your constant support. <clears throat> Question number one. What does the explosive symbol one about? A, poisonous gas. B, risk of skin corrosion. C, risk of explosion from pressure, heat, or shock. D, electrical hazard. Our answer is actually C, because it indicates substances that may explode under certain conditions. So question number two, which of the following is an example of a flammable material. A flammable material is something that can catch fire, remember? So A, we have sodium hydroxide, B, alcohol, C, bromine, D, mercury. I would go with alcohol because it easily catches fire whenever you have sparks or flames around. Question number three, the oxidizing agent symbol indicates a substance that A, causes cancer, B, releases oxygen and can intensify fire, C, is highly acidic, D, reacts with metal. I would go with B because oxidizers tend to increase, uh, release oxygen, thereby increasing the risk of combustion. And if combustion is already in, you know, process, it can help to intensify the fire. Question number four, which hazard symbol indicates danger to living tissues or metals on contact? That will be a corrosive substance because corrosive substances destroy tissues and materials by chemical action. Question number five, a substance with a skull and crossbones symbol is A, acutely toxic, B, an oxidizing agent, C, a carcinogen, and D, radioactive. Actually, when you see a skull with crossbones, it's actually a sign that that substance is acutely toxic, and it is toxic if you inhale it, you ingest it, or absorb it. Question number six, what does the health hazard symbol signify? A, chronic health effects like cancer, B, radiation exposure, C, flammability, D, skin corrosion. We would go with A, which is chronic health effects like cancer, and not only cancer. Chronic means long-term. Not only cancer, you also have um, respiratory issues. You also have uh, fertility issues, reproductive issues also associated with um, those agents. Okay, question number seven. What type of materials fall under the biohazard symbol? We have A, flammable liquids, B, explosive solids, C, infectious diseases like bacteria and viruses, D, corrosive acids. I would go with C because biohazards, bio is life. So biohazards include infectious biological agents. Question number eight, the environmental hazard symbol is associated with A, human toxicity, B, fire risk, C, harm to aquatic life and ecosystems, D, infectious diseases. C will be our answer because the environment, just it's a giveaway, environment has to do with harm to aquatic life, ecosystems, which are found in the environment. So question number nine, which symbol wants of radioactive substances? Skull and crossbones, that's acute toxicity, the trifle radiation symbol, flame symbol, biohazard symbol. I will go with the trifle 
radiation symbol. You always see it anywhere you have radioactive substances or you have x-rays and all that. Question number 10, the electricity hazard symbol warns about A, explosions, B, high voltage and risk of electric shock, C, chronic toxicity, D, corrosive damage, I will go with high voltage and risk of electric shock because it usually indicates danger from high voltage exposure. Question number 11. Formaldehyde is an example of a substance that is both A, corrosive and radioactive, B, acutely toxic and a health hazard, C, flammable and biohazardous, D, non-hazardous. I will go with B because formaldehyde, apart from being a health hazard, is also acutely toxic because it causes both acute and chronic health effects. Um, which symbol is used to indicate risk from bacteria and viruses? I think we have done a question similar to that, and that will be your biohazards because they represent infectious biological risk. So hydrogen peroxide is classified as A, flammable, B, oxidizing agent, C, corrosive, D, toxic, Go with oxidizing agent. Why? Because you know during its um change, it kind of like uh, will break down. Rather, it kind of releases oxygen, and the oxygen that is released can support combustion. Question number fourteen: A person with a star on the chest symbol signifies a health hazard, b radiation risk, c explosion hazard, d biohazard exposure. We would go with A because that represents chronic health hazards like cancer, respiratory, and fertility issues. The crossbones and skull will represent acute toxicity, while the person with a star on the chest symbol would uh, signify health hazards, which has to deal with chronic toxicity. So question number 15, mercury waste is an example of a radioactive hazard, B, environmental hazard, C, oxidizing hazard, um, D, electrical hazard. Usually mercury harms aquatic system and the ecosystem. It is known to accumulate in adipose tissues of both fish as well as um, animals. So it is uh, quite uh, harmful. All right, question number 16. What does the flame symbol mean? A, flammable material. B, health hazard. C, toxic compound. D, explosive risk. This is a giveaway question. I will go with flammable materials because it indicates materials that ignite easily. Question number 17. Sodium hydroxide is a good example of A, A. Toxic chemical, B, corrosive substance, C, biohazard, D, radioactive agent. I will go B, corrosive substance, because sodium hydroxide, whether in the solid form or as a solution, sodium hydroxide solution usually causes chemical bonds and corrosion. Question number 18. What safety practice is recommended when dealing with hazardous material? A, always read labels and wear PPE. B, only work with the partner. C, dilute or use. D, avoid all chemicals. If you avoid all chemicals, how do you expect to work? So we'll go with A, which says always read the labels and wear your personal protective equipment all right so you need to be aware and you need to protect yourself question number 19 waste disposal of biological agents fall under a electrical hazard b toxic material c environmental hazard d radioactive hazard i will c which is environmental uh, hazards because those things you are disposing carelessly can contaminate the soil as well as the water system. Question number 20.
A symbol with a broken circle and a triangle inside is usually referred uh, usually refers to A flammable, B radioactive, C toxic, um, D corrosive. That particular symbol with a broken circle and a triangle is called a trefoil symbol and is the universal sign for radiation. I want to say well done. Remember, knowing your symbols means staying safe and alive in the lab. So remember to review regularly and apply safety practices. So till we come back to you, this is saying goodbye, God bless, and well done.